crazy what's going on in the world right now. Hey guys, just wanted to say hi. What was I saying? Oh yeah. I feel like you guys don't really see the side of me that, I was looking at my videos the one day and I was realizing, you know, there's not that many that really, like you wouldn't know me if you watched my videos. There's not enough. A lot of them are, I mean, they're all genuine, but they're all old and um, I don't say much. I think a lot of that started though. I, st I started not saying as much when, uh, people I knew started watching my videos and making me feel weird. Before that I was a lot more open, but then it's like weird when you know people that know you in your daily life are watching and then it gets weird. Thank God that we have nurses that are being complete warriors right now. Just like going out there and taking care of everything. We're always worried that we'll be out of N95 masks. I mean, it messes me up when I think about it because to think about some of them not having the right protection or safety. We're exposed over and over again. We don't have the protective equipment that we should have. It is sad and scary because they're the ones doing everything and um, they're risking their lives. I live in um, Pennsylvania. I live like on the edge of Pennsylvania. I'm practically in New York. And that's like where it's all going down. And it's just really, really scary because like I anticipated that. I was thinking that because New York City is literally like, it's like an hour drive from here. So to think that like thousands of people are dying like an hour away, nobody around here, like in Pennsylvania was really um, taking it seriously. Even when we were on lockdown, there were still people who weren't listening. But now I'm starting to see people paying attention. I remember when there was only one person wearing a mask in Walmart and now it's like everybody's wearing a mask in Walmart. Walmart's crazy. It has caution tape all over it. There's signs all over it about social distancing. There's people coughing and it's just like, it's like a war zone in Walmart, you know? And it's really, it's really real. I know I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I really do though want to post something. I just don't know what I want to make. And I was thinking about making one about the coronavirus, but you know, it's like the news changes so constant. Constantly. It's like there's a new update faster and faster and faster. I can't keep up with it. And by the time I would get done with it, it wouldn't be relevant, you know? It would be like the old news. I don't know what I want to do, but you know, the whole pandemic thing, social distancing thing it's like getting a little over the top you know i really like sitting in the woods i gotta do this more often yeah it's peaceful it definitely helps to be outside if you are going crazy from social isolating social isolating from social distancing i would definitely suggest to like go in the woods try to go in the woods if you have woods go for a walk but just being in nature can kind of like bring you back i wrote down like a million questions i have about the pandemic I like how is this going to affect us in the long run tell me what you like do you like compilation videos do you like videos where i sit and talk i want to go do something like, i'm pretty down for anything i just like making stuff you know that's just what i enjoy anyway be safe wash your hands <laughs> yeah it's definitely going to be a ride from here out it's going to get worse we all know this so just anticipate it. Always anticipate worse. Expect the unexpected because it's better to just think of the worst thing so then you don't get surprised if a bad thing happens. Wow, the birds are so cool, man. They're so fucking majestic. It's gonna get creepy the darker it gets out here. So it's like first I lose my dad and then now. Like that made me like super like distant, you know? Like when you lose your parent, you kind of it shocks you for a long time. Um, it's hard to like, you're like, whoa. And you, it's like weird living life every day. And you don't know how to like live without that person. I mean, at least if you're close to them, like I was, like best friends. It's like weird going back into life. And then like, I lost my job too. Everything was changing. I had to move and um, I still haven't moved yet, but everything changed in my life and it was weird and it made me kind of socially distant because I didn't know how to cope with it. And then this started happening and it was just so surreal, like how I'm kind of like 
in some kind of isolated bubble going through my own thing and then boom like my computer starts going through it with me and I start seeing everybody that I watch social distancing and then everybody in the world is like shut off and then America is shut down and then it's just crazy because I was already shut down because of my dad it's like the whole world shut down with me damn dude I was just starting to break out of it I was just starting to get social again I was just starting to like you know like I was going to job interviews I was starting to like talk to people I was starting to feel better everybody's social distancing because none of this happened so it's just one thing after the next <sighs> It sucks because I was really starting to feel better. I was starting to use that as something to drive me, empower, empower me, like turn my dad's death around into something that I can grow from and try to make him proud, grow and be a better person. And I was starting to get up off my feet and be social. Right when I started to, right when I dipped my toes in and was starting to feel better, it was like, boom. Pandemic. So now I'm just waiting this out. I really want to socialize, but it's weird. I can't really, I, the whole thing I was trying to do was meet people. Right now is not the time to be going, hey, you want to hang out sometime? Like it's weird, especially here near New York. So I don't know. I'm just going to socialize with you guys. That's what I got. Tell me how you're doing. How you're dealing with social distancing. What are you doing? How's your job? Do you still have your job? How they're treating you over there? What's going on near you? Let me know. I'm interested. Tell me about life. Tell me about what you want, want to see me make. Tell me about whatever. You know, any suggestions, suggestions, suggestions you may have, any, uh, any ideas, whatever. Thank you guys for watching my videos. It's awesome. We're going to get through this somehow. I just want to try to keep posting. I got to socialize. I'm going to lose my mind. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys. Mm -hmm.